This is the Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18. Neither less, thy saints had a very great light, whose voice they hearing and not seeing their shape, because they also had not suffered the same things, they counted them happy. Before that, before that they did not hurt them now, of whom they had been wronged before. They thanked them and besought them pardon, for that they had been enemies. Instead, whereof thou gavest them a burning pillow of fire, both to be a guide of the unknown journey, and an harmless son to entertain them honorably. For, for they were worthy to be deprived of light and imprisoned in darkness, who had kept thy son shut up, by whom the uncorrupt light of law was to be given into the world. And when they had determined to slay the babes of the saints, one child being cast forth and saved to reprove them, thou tookest away the multitude of their children and destroyed them altogether in a mighty water. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Hara Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. May blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. And in this quick lesson, I want to go into you know, the saints, okay? Who are the saints? According to the Holy Scriptures, okay? The saints are the Israelites, okay? The only ones that's being mentioned in the Holy Scriptures in the Bible who is considered or who is talked about to be the saints are the Israelites, who are the Israelites today? The Israelites are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. And also, whomever sea land goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No matter what land you were born in, no matter what, what you look like, or no matter what language you speak. If your seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are an Israelite. Okay? Hey, what does the scripture say in Romans 8 verse 16? If the spirit bear witness with our spirit, we are children of the most high. Okay, so if your spirit resonates with the holy scriptures and all the truth, faith, and sincerity that's inside these scriptures, or you believing on the men that's teaching these scriptures, breaking down these scriptures the, the, the correct way, the more than likely you are an Israelite. Okay? So keep the faith. Keep pushing in the word of Yah, Bashim El Shai. Okay, so I want to go into this quick lesson dealing with the saints. Let's get the first scripture. Um, like I said before, the saints are the Israelites. Okay, it's the book of Psalms 147, verse 19. It says, He showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Okay. So, hey, this is who the word is given to. The word is only given unto who? Israel. Okay. And it's letting you know that we are the ones that only know his statutes and his judgments. Okay. And the Lord has not what? Dealt so with any other nation. Okay? He have not dealt so with any other nation. Alright? Um, oh, Slakia, Slakia. Real quick, I want to get a... Uh, and, um... Slakia, you know, my uh, son is in the background, you know, but I had to do this lesson quick, quickly through the spirit. Okay? I want to go to the book of Psalms. One, um, let's just go over over a chapter, right? Let's get to the point. The book of Psalms, one, um, Psalms one forty eight verse thirteen. It says, "Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of His people, the praise of all His saints, even of the children of." Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. Okay, those are who the saints are, the Israelites, 
the people that is near unto the Heavenly Father, His chosen people, okay? Those are who, who the saints are, okay? Contrary to popular belief, the saints are not anyone that wants to call themselves a saint or to be holy. No, the, only the Israelites were created to be the saints. Only Israelites were created to be what? Holy, created to be separate. You don't believe me? Let's get it real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, it says what? For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. You see? So the Lord is about separation. The Lord has separated the children of Israel to be separate from or set apart from all the other nations upon the earth. Which we were given what? The law, statutes, and commandments, which the other nations do not have. Okay? That's what made us holy. That's what made us separate. All right. Let's continue on. Let's go get another precept. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Chapter uh, 79, verse 1. It says, what? A Psalm of Asaph. O power, or O most high, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. The holy temple have been defiled. They have laid Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of thy saints unto the beast of the earth. Okay, so this was, you know, a part of the things that was happening when we were being took down, when our temple was being, you know, messed up. You know, the, the heathen tore us up. And what happened? You know, our, our bodies, that's what it says in uh, the bodies, the dead bodies of, the, of thy servants, which are the Israelites, had they given to to be meat unto the fowls of heaven, to the birds of the air. Okay? And it says, what the flesh of thy saints and to the beasts of the earth. Okay? Meaning, you know, we were, you know, just, hey, through. Okay? And to the point where our dead bodies was everywhere and our body was just as carcasses ready to be ate, eaten by uh, the beasts of the earth. You know? And also the fowls of heaven. All right? Um... Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse, hmm, I'll start, I'll just go to the point, verse 5, it says, gather my saints together unto me, those that made a covenant with me by sacrifice, that's the clue right there, that should tell you of who the Israelites are, okay, who are the ones that the Lord have, who, uh, are the people that the Lord made, um, who, who are the ones who the Lord have made a covenant with him by sacrifice? The Israelites, okay? That too. I read it again, Psalms 50 verse 5, it says, Gather my, my saints together unto me, those that made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Okay? Let's get that in the book of Exodus. The book of Exodus 24. Verse, I'll start at four. It says, And Moses wrote all, all the words of the Lord and rose up early in the morning and built an altar unto the hill and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins and half of the Blood and he sprinkled, sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read it in the audience of the of the people. And they said, All that Lord, all that the Lord have said, we will do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord have made with you concerning all these words. So the covenant that was made with the blood by sacrifice, right? was the Israelites, point blank, period. Okay, so the saints are the Israelites. No way you can get around it. Okay, so I want to go back to the uh, book of uh, um, Wisdom of Solomon, right? And this is not going to be a long lesson. I just wanted to just do this quick with the Spirit. Um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse... Uh, uh, one again, it says, Neither less thy saints had a very great light, whose voice they hearing and not seeing their shape, 
because they also had not suffered the same things, they counted them happy. Okay, so let's go get a precept of that real quick. With that speaking of, let's go to the book of um, Exodus 10, verse 23. It says what? Um, it says, And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. And Pharaoh called unto Moses and said, and said, Go ye and serve the Lord. Only let your flocks and your herds be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. Okay. So there you go. Going to that speaking of um, uh, the Israelites. Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, so that's the precept. Um, going back to Wisdom of Solomon, jump to the point and we can close out. Wisdom of Solomon 18, verse 5, it says what? And when they had determined to slay the babes of the saints, one child being cast forth and saved. Who was that child? Moses. To reprove them, thou tookest away the multitude of their children, and destroyed them all together in a mighty water. So did not take place. Didn't um, you know, the firstborns of the Egyptians be destroyed, right? Didn't didn't the Egyptians end up being swallowed, um, uh, in the Red Sea, right? Yes, that took place. That happened. Okay, this is how you know when they said to slay the babes of the saints. These are speaking of the Israelites. Okay, it's the Book of Exodus, fourteen verse. Let's, uh, it says 22, it says, And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptian, Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all the Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire, and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariots, chariot wheels that they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. All right. It says, and the Lord said unto Moses, stretch out thy hand over the sea that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea and the sea returned to his strength. With the morning, when the morning appears, a lot. And the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Okay, so, you know, just backing up, you know, the, going into the precept, what uh, the book of Wisdom of Solomon is, is saying, you know? Wisdom of Solomon 18, verse 5, again, it says, And when they had determined to slay the babes of the saints... One child being cast forth and saved to reprove them, thou tookest away the multitude of their of their children, and destroyed them altogether in a mighty water. Okay, and we just read the account where that took place. So hey, you know, that's the point. You know, I'm not gonna uh you know to continue to make the lesson any longer than what it need to be. The saints are the the Israelites, okay? The saints, according to the Bible, who are the saints? The saints are the Israelites. So with that, I hope this lesson was out of fine, and I want to say until next time, shalom.